I am professor. I was a professor in the University of Madras when uh, I had the first introduction with uh, Daryl Mazur, who came to Chennai, and I think it was with uh, Azaria, Jaipal Azaria, Hilda Azaria, who had uh, introduced me to him, and we had uh, what you call uh, conferences on bioethics. When I presented a paper on bio, geo, chemical resources and how they should not be affecting the biosphere, the climate, insects, birds. It is because uh, when I heard Professor Daryl Meiser used to say you should love all forms of life. I was really laughing. Why should he believe in <laughs> loving all forms of life? Uh, why should not we believe in loving only human beings? But then I came to know, after a long time I came to know, yes, we definitely we have to respect all forms of life and we have to preserve all forms of life. They will kill one another, we shouldn't be killing the insects, birds, butterflies, human beings, then plants, wild plants and even plants which are supposed to be a source of food for us but we should be very careful in handling them because we will be only uh, affecting what you call uh, the climate, the resources and the wind, everything. That is one of the reasons why I came to believe him. That was about, uh, see 1998 I was introduced when he was in Tsukuba University, Japan. Maybe by 2000 I came to believe him because I started recognizing what is the meaning of uh, loving all forms of life and why should we, instead of loving only our family, why should we believe in what he says that we should love all forms of life without the all forms of life. That cannot be what you call an urban area or a rural area which will give what you call the bio, geo, chemical resources which are required for human beings. So human beings if they want to live, if they want to preserve the agriculture uh, area, forest areas, industrial areas, they should uh, handle them in a proper way so that they are all alive and the biosphere is common. If the biosphere is common, then the environment will be common. It is only that he has meant. But he didn't mean anything. He used to say only one sentence. I was wondering. Then I came to know that the explanation goes where the explanation will be so much. Now we have come to what you call the health care, where definitely the government, if it is US, the presidents, we are very much interested. The federal government should take care of what you call the health agencies and the range of activities to be carried out by them and the resources that must be given by the federal governments, the state governments and the local governments. But ultimately, they also passed laws, rules, regulations to support the biomedical and health services. But ultimately, what the presidents wanted, what the federal government could do, it is not something that can be really done. That, can, that is not practicable. It is not practicable because whatever they want to do, nobody, uh, nobody obeys the laws. There may be many legislative acts that are passed. I have mentioned the legislative acts which will take care of Medicaid, Medicare programs. And uh, I have referred to seven to eight books and then from journals also I have referred to because it is easy to go through uh, the books, it is easy to go through the journals and find out that in spite of all the actions that were taken by the presidents of US government, still it is not practicable, it is more or less like India. In India also, the, it is not the president, the prime minister will say that let me bring about an act, uh, let me bring about uh, the federal uh, uh, public health care organizations. Let us fund these public health care organizations. But ultimately, there will be no 
way where they are going to fund and there will be no way where they are going to manage the public health care organizations. That is one of the reasons why you come to know that uh, there is protection against the international health threats and uh, supporting international efforts towards global health. If you look at the World Health Organizations, if you look at the way in which uh, the World Health Organizations are managing the health care of their citizens, that is different and this is different. And that is why we came to know that it is more or less something where there can be a comparison, there can be not just comparison, it is similar. The federal government's regulatory activities such as labeling hazardous substances which are based in the power to regulate interstate commerce, everything, it is just the same as it is in India. It is not different. Then we go to the responsibility of public health care of uh, US government and uh, the responsibility of uh, Indian government in uh, health care uh, facilities and in financing health care uh, administrative uh, Medicare and Medicaid offices but ultimately it is only the private health organizations which are becoming dominant and private health care organizations even in uh, US I should say that people believe in uh, uh, the what you call uh, indigenous medical system or they believe in Chinese uh, medicines, they believe in Indi Indian medicines and they try to popularize and they try to propagate the way in which uh, people can take up these medicines. And so there will be what you call only healthcare providers will be um, foreigners or uh, outsiders and need not necessarily be the um, US doctors. Again, when you look into the acts that have been passed from time to time, we will come to know that the registered hospitals may be many and that the registered hospitals uh, can be uh, public welfare uh, uh, hospitals, but they are not going to be as popular as privately owned uh, or uh, profitable hospitals. And when we think about uh, the foreign immigrants living in US, definitely the immigrants, their health insurance, their health care will be different from the US citizens. But in spite of that, US citizens also have to spend and the foreigners or the immigrants also have to spend. That is the way in which uh, the US health care is happening. That is what uh, we were able to find out. And so, me and uh, Dr. Ravi Shankar will argue with one another, saying that because his daughter is a doctor, his son is a doctor, he might feel that uh, US uh, federal government is taking care of public health. But I will say that it is not. It is like this. So, both of us join together and we prepare the paper where even if we are going to argue with one another, let us present it in such a way that people who are going to listen to it they will agree with us or they will agree with me or they will agree with him or they will uh, disapprove of both our <laughs> arguments and uh, dismiss it. Undocumented immigrants in US do not have access to government funded health insurance. So there is what you call private health insurance companies are there. I have listed but when you see that I have listed 25 companies but are they only for human beings? There is some uh, uh, some uh, difference whether it is meant for uh, human beings or it is meant for non-human beings or agricultural areas or animals there is some confusion in that when we saw that insurance private health insurance companies where I have uh, listed 25 health insurance companies which you see even that is most confusing and in India the national health policy was decided by Modi Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi by 2017 when it was declared by uh, the government uh, promoted universal access to good quality of public health care services and uh, financial uh, uh, hardship of public hospitals will definitely be different and will definitely be reduced. That is what he says. That is what he said and that is what he says. But nothing comes true because whatever he said 
whatever he says, no one is going to practice it. No one is going to obey. No one is going to follow that. No one is going to carry on that. Then what happens is, the way that they uh, uh, bring about the uh, acts, the way they talk about uh, the public health care, that is different from what it is practiced. Go to the next page. The term NGOs, non-governmental organizations are more as far as India is concerned, but uh, I don't think in uh, US the non-governmental organizations are taking care of uh, uh, the public health. Uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar, when he spoke, he was also was mentioning about uh, NGOs, non-profitable organizations. And uh, six, uh, next page, I've given <coughs> the, uh, uh, one second, one second. Yeah. Six things that we should know about India. Before that, World Health Organization, 2000 World Health Report, ranking India's healthcare system at 112 out of 190 countries. And uh, I think when you look into the way in which uh, US healthcare is coming, that will also be somewhere between 100, not uh, first rank or second rank, because that is not there about the public health care in US also. Then when we are talking about uh, the six uh, things that we should know about India's health care system, that is very different. And maybe in these six things, it is different in US. Number one will be rural versus urban divide. This is more or less the same. When the health care market in uh, uh, US and in uh, India, it will be more or less the same rural versus urban divide and when we come to the nice second one need for effective payment mechanisms where there is going to be what you call national commission payment or the, its report on microeconomics only 5% of Indians are covered by health insurance policies maybe it is more or less the same with the US also not 100% are covered by the national health insurance policy in US maybe 30% that's all then we go to the th third one Demand for basic primary health care and infrastructure where uh, in uh, US I should say that uh, compared to 8% in US that is what uh, we were able to see and uh, before their uh, fifth birthday what will happen and uh, about children now when you are talking about HIV, malaria, tuberculosis, viral and dengue fever, chicken gunya, diarrhea this is too much in India but this may not be the same as far as uh, uh, US is concerned because when you think about HIV, when you think about malaria, tuberculosis, viral and dengue fever, we should uh, come to the conclusion that it is more only in uh, India and uh, not in US. For the primary health care, Indian government spends only about 30% of the total uh, health care budget. That also we have, uh, next page, we have come to and the fourth one will be on the pharmaceutical sector. I should say that uh, US, uh, with uh, the UN, uh, they have United Nations, uh, they have allowed uh, Indian government to go about the strategy of pharmaceutical sector, where Indian pharmaceutical sector is allowed to go about manufacturing so many drugs for uh, HIV, for all diseases. But these drugs are being sold by US in a different manner. It is sold by other countries in a different manner. That is the reason why I, am, I have been saying that the pharmaceutical companies in uh, India, they are uh, becoming more and more popular when compared to US. But the thing is, they are not able to sell it to different countries. They have to give it to, uh, you, they, they, they have to give it to the World Health Organization they have to give, especially HIV, AIDS and uh, aging population also, rising incomes and middle class also and then underdeveloped medical devices sector. When you talk about underdeveloped medical devices sector in India, there will be the medical devices which are fastest growing sectors in the country like the health insurance marketplace but when it comes to uh, US, that is different because they have medical devices which are being manufactured but in India they have to buy it from different countries that is the uh, 
way in which uh, the medical association or uh, medical healthcare in India is. And the sixth one, the organizations are developing with high capital as well as income and are becoming successful and highly sophisticated by advanced treatment technology and manufacturing of drugs, Ayurveda and Siddha. And uh, now we have come to the conclusion that Ayurveda said that doctors should be appointed, posted in primary health care centers because the doctors who have finished uh, allopathy or MBBS, they don't want to go and attend the primary health care centers regularly for three years, for five years. They don't go there at all. That's the reason why now the government of India is recommending that Unani, homeopathy or Ayurveda Siddha doctors must be posted or they must be uh, allowed to stay there and to supply medicines to people because that will be in a, a lower rate, not in a higher rate. That is the sixth one. Yeah. But uh, the private organization's responsiveness to public consciousness is defined uh, as social responsibility and uh, we can look into the infertility treatment clinics when we think about allopathy and when we talk about uh, Ayurveda and Siddha where both allopathy private uh, healthcare organizations they are making lot of money and uh, they are uh, trying to make themselves popular about uh, uh, trying to bring about uh, infertility treatment but uh, what sort of uh, frauds they are doing nobody will know but what sort of fraud what sort of uh, what you call corruption that they are doing in getting more money from uh, men or from women only Indians will know because it is not being uh, published or popularized but some people will come to know that uh, definitely the allopathy clinics the private healthcare organizations they are making a lot of money with or without uh, any <laughs> idea about uh, giving treatment to men or uh, giving treatment to women. Ayurveda and Siddha, they are supposed to give medical treatment to women means they will give medicines to men also and they are asked to buy. Dr. Jamuna, when she was with me, I didn't want to talk about uh, <laughs> <laughs> in Japan, uh, 2017, when we spoke because I didn't want to blame her. But there are so many who keep blaming her, uh, who keep uh, accusing her that instead of treating, giving treatment to a woman so that ovums will uh, be uh, manufactured uh, mostly and uh, they will be able to conceive but uh, she is giving medicines to men also and she is charging a lot of money <laughs> double, <laughs> <to> the <time. laughs> yeah, double the amount of money she wants that has been the accusation which is uh, recurred not only to Dr. Jamuna to most of the Ayurveda and Siddha doctors as well as uh, allopathy doctors. That is what uh, I have seen and I came to know. But uh, when uh, both of us were there in Japan, I didn't want to accuse her. But now, since she is not there, I am giving you the uh, truthful statement about the way in which Ayurveda and Siddha doctors are also doing. And uh, if uh, we think about uh, what you call uh, foreigners who are coming mostly to India, for private health care. They come from Middle East, Africa, Pakistan, Bangladesh for complex pediatric or cardiac surgery, liver, kidney, heart, respiratory, lungs for all transplantation. They are here. But when we talk about America, in America there are more doctors who will do all this but they have to stand in a queue. They have to wait for uh, more than a year. That's the reason why they are coming to India. When we talk about what you call the UK, Europe and North America for quick, efficient and cheap coronary bypasses or orthopedic procedures, they come to India. And a shoulder operation in UK would cost about 10,000 pounds when it is done privately or entails several months wait under National Health Service. So even in England it is happening because they have to stand in a queue, they have to wait. But when it comes to India, the allopathy clinics, private health clinics, they charge only 1,700 pounds, not 10,000 pounds. See, that is the reason why the foreigners come to India and they take all sorts of uh, organ transplantation or any other uh, 
disease uh, to be cured, they come to India. And that is the reason why we have mentioned and uh, I have given reference Burnham John, healthcare in America and Hadley Jack, his healthcare spending higher, user medical aid or private insurance, then Karel Squillo and uh, the book, health insurance coverage of immigrants living in the United States, uh, then uh, Stephen Davidson, uh, still broken, understanding the US healthcare system because it is still broken healthcare just as it is in India. And that is the reason why I referred that book and Greg Shaw, the healthcare debate because the healthcare debate in US will show us. In US also it is the same and in, uh, in India also it is more or less the same. And uh, there was another book by John Dono on University of California Press. I think uh, I have made a mistake, fifth and sixth, there is only one book. Fifth and sixth, uh, Myron Fortler, The Retail Revolution in Healthcare. And then I have referred to the journals. Number eight will be followed by some uh, A, B, C, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. So many I have covered. Oh, one second, one second. Uh, this. Health insurance. Mm, yeah. Can push it up. Push it up. No. Come to the reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one, next one. Uh, here is the list of health insurance companies in UK. Ten companies. You were saying. Uh, Assurant Health Insurance, Unlimited Health One, Celtic Insurance, Conventry Healthcare, Human, Cigna, Select Health. Cigna is there in India also. Cigna is here in US also. <laughs> TT Kishamachari. Yeah. TTK. Yeah, TTK. His uh, healthcare is called Signa and the health insurance company is here also. And uh, Select Health is one. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is one. Athena is another one. Then health insurance companies in US. See? Health Markets, Humana, Insurance Service of America, Intermountain Healthcare, Kaiser, Permanent, Ally. For wise, uh, health plan of Arizona, even that I have mentioned. Life health, uh, life wise uh, uh, health uh, plan of Oregon, life wise health plan of Washington, Medica, Minnesota, Medical Mutual, Oregon Health Insurance, Oxford Health Plans, Principal Financial Group, Shelter Insurance, Unicare Health Insurance, United Health Group, Vista Health Plan, Walter Jarvis Insurance Services. Bell point, WPS health insurance, all this I, it is more or less in US. Now I will come to India also. See this 25, we don't know whether the 25 uh, property or casualty insurance companies claim more than two thirds of the total market and uh, wrote more than 588 billion of premium. So is it uh, dealing with uh, human beings or is it dealing with agriculture <laughs> or uh, with everything, that is something which is very uh, complicated. Okay. Uh, 25 names I have mentioned, then we'll go. Yeah, you can move. You can move. Then we'll come to the patient protection, health insurance, and avoidable. All this you can push. It is more or less the same. Private health insurance plans uh, in America and in uh, India. You can you can move come to India and uh, in India both of us joined together and we have brought about Parapadan BS Corruption Plagues of Government Hospitals published in Hindu, Dougal the private health sector in India and uh, Government of India National Health Policy but National Health Policy is never followed by anyone <laughs> that's it BBC News Outline World Edition India's Opposition of uh, Indian Position of Women Dodges National Health Services and then Health, uh, Nutrition, Population Sector, United India, South Asian uh, Region, World Health Report we have consulted, Arogya Rakshana Yojana, Healthcare in India, which is a white paper, Healthcare Reaching Out to the Masses, Major Diseases in India, 
Financing and Delivery of Healthcare Services in India, published by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, Indian Brand Equity Foundation Health Care Report, given by the Government of India, National Health Policy, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, which is published by IAS Parliament A. Shankar Academy Initiative, Indrani Gupta and Mirgesh Bhatia, uh, Healthcare System, Indian Healthcare System, then Business Policy and Strategic Management of Healthcare, then List of Health Insurance Companies, Apollo Mune, Star Health and Allied Insurance, Future General Insurance Company, Bajaj Alliance General Insurance, National Insurance, IFCO Tokyo General Insurance, which might have got the money or finance from uh, Japan, but it is there in India. The New India Assurance Co. and Co., the Oriental Insurance and Co., Reliance General Insurance, United India Insurance, Royal Sundaram Alliance Insurance Company. I think uh, you can move. We have about 27 private health insurance companies and the types of health insurance also I have given the list part A, part B, part C the different types of uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, health uh, problems that uh, the Indians are facing and uh, how they go to the different types of health insurance that is what I have covered with the part A, part B, part C and part D okay. I think that is the way that I have compared both of us have compared uh, US and India when both of us feel that we are just the same just but the same. England and Canada definitely they have very good public health care and it's a good to have public health care yes. <laughs> <laughs> any reflections or comments <laughs> any comments What's it like in Pakistan? The same as India? Yeah, more or less the both the countries are going similar. <laughs> <laughs> That's more or less the same thing what you did because it was more or less discussed in Ravi's presentation also the same thing. Yeah, more or less. Because yeah. both of us discussed the topic together and uh, we presented, we prepared the paper so that both of us can come here or one of us can come here. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you said about the foreigners also, yeah. uh, India is advancing so much in the medicine uh, treatment that even there are a lot of cases from Pakistan yeah. who go for there, especially the open heart surgeries or something. You just you must have heard about the recently the Olympian who died, the Pakistani gold medalist. What was his name? Salma uh, Mansoor Akhtar, mm -hmm. the gold medalist. Uh, he was denying a open heart surgery. He, he was a gold medalist in hockey. He was denying open heart surgery in Pakistan, saying that he wanted to go to India uh, to get it and before he got the permission and the visa to get it he already expired but that's just showing that the advances are being done so much that even the people from this part of the border they just want to go there in the private uh, sector of India just for getting their treatments done yeah. and so in, the, the same. in Nepal it's the same or what's it like in Nepal? Yeah, more or less same, but similar to India, I guess, Yeah. So, what would you suggest for the reform? Reform, <coughs> it should be really undertaken by the government, where the government becomes very serious <coughs> about uh, carrying out the reform properly. Mm. So that is different as far as US and India is concerned. Both are behaving in the same way. They make legislations, they make different acts, laws, and nobody follows the laws mm. or the acts. And the funding also is not. As Professor Daryl rightly pointed out, uh, the Indian uh, healthcare system has to be reformed. This is a high time with the more of a state intervention as uh, madam uh, repeatedly used to say not only legislations are essential it has to be implemented properly and it should be carried out in time and it requires professional ethics it requires medical ethics it requires change of mind 
among the patients and the doctors and the health professionals because in the name of consumerism they are very active in the name of judicial activism they are trying to sue anybody everybody in the health sector this high time reforms should be carried out in a proper perspective to meet the challenge <coughs> See, that's the reason the, why. Yeah. That's the reason why we are wa we are wanting yeah. Dr. Daryl Mazur to come there yeah. so that he will popularize yeah. what he calls bioethics in not just one college or one university, but the whole of India, whole of universities, Myself state and universities, my and uh, central yeah. government okay, universities. Just a question: of the, of the two earlier when you were talking about uh, the vice chancellors after you and going a bit corrupt. Is that going all over India or just the Chennai or the Tamil Nadu area? All over India. All over India. In India. Delhi, everywhere. It, goes it has on. become inevitable in recent times. Okay. <laughs> they are dismissed. Yeah. They are sent out. And in, in healthcare, it's also corruption. So, yeah, definitely. If I want to see the doctor quickly, I'll pay more money. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens in government service. You have to tip. Uh, the speed money, what you call speed money. Unless you tip uh, speed money, you cannot meet a particular doctor. We have seen uh, many instances uh, in the form of uh, characters they have exhibited in some of the Tamil movies. Then How? There are two ways. Either you use the speed up money yeah. or you should have a reference to that doctor or a yeah. connection because that doctor already gives a call insight in the public sector to the other doctor that this patient is through me, yeah. they already they take a paper out and they show the paper I am referred from so and so doctor in the government sector mm -hmm. and then they have the VIP pass as we call it. Yeah. Even, so, even in uh, hospitals, yeah. uh, he used to give uh, the recommendations from bioethics that there should be what you call ethical committees. Yeah. But, but, they, but this is not ethics that you just taking a VIP class at the expense of another just carry... carry no, no, for, uh, Madam is talking about organ yeah. transplant, the ethical committees no, uh, all, must... There must be ethical yeah, committees they are, they are must. in hospitals. hospitals. So that the hospital, even if it is private, yeah. even if it is public, they should follow the ethical committee must be there. And the ethical committee, uh, people are uh, not just doctors, those who believe in ethics, yeah. Judges. those who have... Uh, very much faith. understood what is ethics. They should have uh, some faith. Yeah. And those who have studied ethics. Mm -hmm. And in hospitals, government hospitals or private hospitals, at least two to four uh, social service students will be there to take care of mm -hmm. the social service and social responsibility. But nobody bothers about it. Because of him, now people, we also think, if he comes there very often and if he is going to introduce the course not just in uh, the medical university but also in uh, social science social science university definitely it will uh, become popular hope oh, professor Daryl will accept our invitation to india <laughs> <laughs> yes. he has accepted but we haven't provided him <laughs> <laughs> it's high time we should yeah. Yeah. we'll make it madam <laughs> yeah yeah you provide the room definitely a yeah, better place and uh, for example, vaccinations for children, are they under the public sector or private? Both. Uh, both. But uh, mostly government sector. And when uh, it is not done properly, private Service. healthcare sector also takes care of that. And dentistry? Like, do you have a school dentistry service? Uh, yeah, in public also. sector and private also. Nowadays, private also takes oh. care. As Madam says, uh, Madam's own, uh, daughter is a dentist. dentist. When I was talking to her some time back, she uh, gave a very interesting idea. Uh, uh, she said, uh, of late, uh, not allopathy, MBBS doctors or MS surgeons are picking up their clinic. Even the dentistry specializations have started mushrooming in number and we have all sort of specialization. Even some dentists are changing for cosmetics. Actually, and I, have transplantation. Actually, I asked her to come for and attend the conference yes. that you are conducting because she is a dentist. Yeah. There was an, another dentist from Bangladesh, so I told her you can also come and give a talk. Yeah. But she says, <laughs> no. <laughs> because her son is studying. I'm just in a first year. very ordinary doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, she has a lot of information. I was yeah, discussing. Yeah, she has a lot her. of information. The. Uh, Andrew, Andrew, would you like to speak about your comment about a pr subtle privatization? <coughs> uh, 
Andrew, would you like to mention what you have said on the Skype chat? Andrew was saying that he thinks Canada is like the UK, mm. uh, shadow privatization and increasing decay of the public sector. Oh, shadow privatization. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a sort of interesting um, comment. And uh, Manuel was talking about Spain, saying uh, the middle class in the West is shrinking as in solidarity rises. Mm. So in solidarity oh. is the opposite of solidarity, yeah? So middle class is also... Manuel, shaking. would you like to say anything? <coughs> Which one? No, Skype you. Oh, hold on. My, my brother's son is Andrew. Oh, I see. I'm wondering. My brother's son is Andrew. <laughs> I see Andrew. So I'm wondering. He's in uh, Sydney, Australia. Okay, Andrew, I, do you want to say anything? I think my speaker was off. Yes, I, I was ahead. trying to say, sorry about that. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's great to hear your voices. This is Andrew in Canada. I'm the PhD student um, with Daryl here. Yeah, it, it's really interesting to see the rapid uh, decay because for a while there it was slow decay and now it seems to be happening much, much quicker. Uh, I don't honestly like the morale at the public hospitals in Canada is quite low and all the pressure is being mounted increasingly on the ER as the main service point for everything, for, for the doctors, for the administrators even. Um, so it's kind of like the, the illusion of a public health care system here wherein we have all the, the buildings, the names, the functions, but when you try to use it, it doesn't work. <laughs> so, And there's a lot of private clinics popping up, uh, making good money um, because there's a demand for it so I feel I feel all the struggle that you guys are talking about over here very much so yeah thanks guys thank you Andrew Emmanuel would you like to share anything yes uh, one in six uh, poor person impoverished person uh, who lives in the world and lives in, in India um, I was considering if um, it uh, is uh, worthwhile to thrive for a um, more extended public health care or it would be better um, try to um, make a more popular, more populated middle class able to pay the taxes that a public health care need, for example, increasing risk venture capital, promoting startups, um, more startups in the cities in India growing. Um, it uh, would be letting the middle term, in my opinion, to a uh, best uh, economic la landscape at a more um, um, Fully, more friendly money. On the other hand, it also would be an option to try a global initiative of healthcare to avoid um, massive, um, massive um, demographic uh, cutdowns. Um, um, like uh, pandemics and, and famines and all these kind of things. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Manuel. Yeah, and I think that's if you're going to have a delivery of healthcare through the um, through offering people this public and as well as private, even if it's private, at least the income needs to be high enough to support. <laughs> And you, then you can at least cover some of the population and still try and use emergency healthcare for the, the poorer, as this happens in the United States and a number of states. They try to manage in this way. But those who are working in organizations, they are provided healthcare yeah. Yeah. and they are provided uh, medicines. Mm. All of us. Reimbursement. Yeah, yeah. It is given. But only if you are not working in a government yeah. company or in a government. Uh, university, 
he will not be given. Yeah. That's it. And That's they, it. they don't need to pay tax, but uh, instead of uh, them paying taxes, they are given mm. freebies. But, yeah. Freebies, I see. <laughs> uh, Atanasia is in Mozambique. Uh, go ahead, Atanasia. Huh? Oh, oh. students in the Okay. Yeah. Atanasia. Oh, he uh, had a connection issue. He just tried to speak and he disconnected. Okay, and he was saying that in Mozambique. Uh, go ahead, Atanasio, we're back now. Yes, Prof. Um, there is something that uh, sometimes, from my point of view, it sounds to be a little bit strange. In public hospitals, we find clinics which are made for the people who have uh, maybe who are economically well. No. So, it, from my point of view, if the hospital is made for the public, so what is it then they divide it? They put clinics meant for the people who have a lot of money and there, there are some area which is specifically for the poor people. So this is what, it's to some extent that um, I just find the uh, adequate answer that I can find. Because if it was meant for the public, then we still need or dividing it. Maybe this is, this is specifically for the poor, and this is specifically for those who have uh, maybe enough money. So this is, it becomes a great challenge for me. Uh, from my point of view, it could be if it's the public, no matter whether you have uh, maybe a lot of money, so all. All people would be treat, would be treated the same way without any kind of or maybe discrimination. But when they introduce uh, clinics within the public hospitals, so at the same time, then it sounds that they want to to create some kind of segregation, you know. Because when we go to the public hospitals, you we go with the expectation that. All of us will be uh, treated the same way, no matter you have a lot of money or not. That we cannot say. So this that is they kind of the challenge. Them. Maybe maybe it's related to the uh, way of uh, administrations or policies which are defined here in Mozambique, and uh, I don't understand the reason behind it. Mm. We cannot uh, say that they are treated in the same way just because some patients are treated. Even if the same doctor is going to do it, it cannot be the same way that they keep treatment. Mm. There is a lot of difference. It's because of money or it's because of medicines available, it's because of uh, patients who are going to follow because the uh, instructions given by the doctors. There are so many uh, things. Eastern sky is arrived. So it cannot oh. be the same. Yeah. Thank you very much, Aruna. It's a great you. presentation.